guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel today is monday february 8th it's the first day of the week and it's the first day of my midterm week midterm weeks are always super stressful i always have a lot going on so i thought it's the perfect opportunity to vlog because i know it keeps me accountable to be productive and inspires some of you to be productive as well so i'm going to be vlogging my entire week and let me show you what i have going on this week on tuesday i have one assignment in my writing class and i've already done it i just have to submit it. On Thursday, I am filming the behind the scenes of a magazine photo shoot for the magazine club that I'm part of. On Friday, I have a two to three page response paper in my film class about TV. And then in that same class, I have screenings and readings to do. And then in my other film class about mass media, I have readings and screenings. And then on Sunday, I have a discussion forum to do in my other writing class. And then I've already read the notes for module five for my Paris class. And then I have an assignment in my Paris class. And I've also already done this i just have to read it over and then submit it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below because i respond to every single comment and your comments truly help me grow and support my channel so i would really appreciate if you do that and of course if you're not already don't forget to subscribe down below i would love to have you here and let's get this midterm week started the first thing I'm gonna do is read over my writing assignment that's due on Tuesday. I did the final touches to it yesterday, so it's all done. I'm just gonna like read through it one last time because I haven't read through it because it's so long. But I can't submit it just yet because I'm waiting on my TA to answer my question because as you can see, there are like a bunch of little comments on the side here and you're able to read them all because I put my document to 4.0 spacing. Like usually teachers ask for 2.0 spacing, but then all of these get like clumped together and you can't read them. So I asked my TA if like that's allowed or it has to be submitted in 2.0 spacing I'm gonna read it over one more time and then I'll know that it's like done and ready to be submitted once my TA answers my question Okay, so that is ready to submit whenever my TA confirms the spacing. Now the next thing I wanna do is for my Paris assignment. It's actually a PowerPoint that I had to make and I thought I finished it last night, but I forgot that like I did all of the text, but I didn't like put the bullet points on the slides. Like here I wrote what I'm going to say in my narration, but then like I didn't fill this stuff in. I didn't do that for any of the slides. So that's what I'm gonna do right now because hopefully it won't take me too long. And then I'm gonna go have lunch and then I'm gonna work out. I want to show you my PowerPoint because I'm so proud of it. It's so pretty. I got the layout on slidescarnival.com. That's like a website that I found on TikTok and it has a bunch of like templates for PowerPoints and I used it once last semester and I use it again and I think it looks so pretty. So I want to show you. So this is my first slide. I wrote the title of the assignment, which is Paris and Photographs. And then I got this picture of Paris, which I think like matches the theme. Like the colors are kind of like the same. And then there's like this little camera emoji that came with the template. So the project is to compare the photographs of this guy from the 1800s 1900s to a contemporary photographer this is the contemporary photographer that i found i just found him on instagram so i put like a screenshot of his account and like a little phone and then the like course concept that this presentation is based off of is a flaneur so i just have like a definition of what a flaneur is and then i have the first two photographs that i'm comparing and then my explanation and then the second old and new photographs my explanation and my work cited so that's all the work that i'll be doing for now i'm gonna go make myself lunch and i'll see you guys for my workout with michaela if you didn't know i've been doing workouts with my best friend michaela over facetime since the beginning of the semester so like a month now what's there to say there's nothing but space in between you and i it's okay that we change but it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life Michaela and I just finished our workout and at one point in the workout it came up that both of us were in the same dance studio when we were like five years old so Michaela just found the DVD from that show and she found the dance that I was in and like I've never seen this footage before I'm so excited that's me right that's you that's you oh my god I'm so cute that's me oh, oh my gosh yay 
Right now it is 427 and Michaela and I always like call at 2 to do our workouts But then we ended up talking for like a really long time So we started our workout at 2 30 and then we did it till 3 because it was half an hour long And then we found out that we were in the same dance show when we were like five or six years old So now it's almost 4 30 and I still want to get some work done before I make dinner But I can also cross off that I did a workout I realized when I showed my spread before I hadn't written like workout on the days that we're gonna work out But I always do that because then I get to check it off I think what I'm gonna do right now is narrate my presentation for my Paris class because then that's like the last thing I have to do and then it'll be done I wish I could submit it but I asked my TA in this class a question because I did like the work cited for my scholarly sources but I'm not sure if they want us to cite the photographs we use so I just asked that in the course questions forum and she has not answered yet I will obviously let you know when the TAs answer me because then I will get to submit the assignments and check them off in my planner uh can you tell me how to pronounce what I just sent you de la parcheminerie, parcheminerie, parcheminerie. Right now it's 7 11 and it's pretty early in the evening Like I feel like I definitely have time to do the readings and screenings if I wanted to but i'm not stressed about them Like i'm not stressed about the work that I have this week. So maybe i'll regret this later I don't know, but i'm not gonna do them tonight I'm gonna finish my episode of the crown because i'm not done yet I think i have like 20 minutes left and then i'm going to shower and then i'm going to read tomorrow I'm definitely gonna get my readings and screenings done and i'm gonna start my response paper for my film class so that is all for Monday's vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon. It's 12 31 right now and I have had such a busy morning yesterday I said like multiple times that I was not stressed about this week and like I really shouldn't be and like now I'm definitely not stressed but I read last night and then five minutes before I went to sleep I got so stressed like I thought I was gonna cry. I don't know. It just came out of nowhere So this morning I woke up at like 7 15 as you saw and right away I did all of my readings and screenings for this week so that I could get them out of the way for my response paper i looked at the response question so it's a 1000 to 1500 word paper and we can choose any of the tv serials that we've screened already to do a close analysis of that episode so i'm doing flash gordon which was like a 1936 like sci-fi tv serial and it says does this early version of seriality resonate with you in terms of the contemporary programming you're familiar with so i'm focusing on the cliffhanger in flash gordon and i'm comparing that to the cliffhangers in Outer Banks as like the contemporary programming. So that's my idea and I wrote it down in an email and I sent it to my professor. What a queen. I emailed her at 9.02. She responded at 9.15. Some of my teachers like literally say they need 72 hours to reply to an email. Not my TV prof. She is a queen. Love her and she said my idea works and she loved it. So I'm very happy about that. That was like a major stress. Then I ordered myself a crepe as a little pick-me-up and it was so good. I watched it with a YouTube video. Oh yeah and then I submitted my writing assignment like the one with the track changes that I was doing yesterday and then my other TA for my Paris class also answered me and she said that we had to cite our images so I did the work cited the bibliography or whatever for all the images that I used in my PowerPoint it took like no time I only used like six images I think and I just submitted that PowerPoint and I feel so good I did so much oh and I worked out but right now I'm going to get some lunch I feel like I just ate breakfast but I'm gonna have lunch now because then right after lunch I'm going to be filming a deep cleaning my apartment video. I feel like I just talked for so long, but I did so much today and I'm feeling so good.
Also, I'm really bad at like unboxing packages. Like I'm always excited when I get a new package and then I just don't open it for days. So I have this package that I need to open before I clean my apartment because it's taking up so much space on my floor. I don't know if you can like tell how big this is through the camera, but this package is massive and it doesn't even have that much in it. That was not very satisfying. Another box. First, I got two new hand soaps because I have two sinks in my apartment and I only have one hand soap right now, so it's in the bathroom. So whenever I'm in the kitchen, I need to wash my hands. I have to go to the bathroom. So now I'm gonna move the bathroom one to the kitchen and I'm gonna put one of these in the kitchen and one of these in storage. But the reason that box was so big is because it was holding these paper towels. Oh my God. This is so funny. Oh my God, no. Six. 12, 18, and 24. I told my mom I was out of paper towel, and I guess she thought it was the end of the world. Okay, I'm gonna put that paper towel away. I'm gonna put my soaps away. I'm going to have lunch, and then I'm going to film my video. So I'll see you guys after I do that. Oh my god. I was just filming for three hours cleaning my apartment. My back hurts. I'm tired. Everything smells like cleaning supplies, but I did it. I think that I'm going to read now for a bit as I like warm up my dinner from last night so I can give myself a break because I was just like go, go, go for like three hours and I was very productive this morning. And then I'm going to work on my paper at night. But now I totally deserve to check this off. Hey guys, it's 7.19 right now, so a little bit later, I had dinner and then I washed my dishes and then I was perfecting my channel banner because I made like new channel art on Sunday, so like three days ago, and I love it, but it was like bothering me because I felt like the text was too big, so I just adjusted it. I'll show you what it looks like. Obviously, you can go look at this on your own screen, so it's like more close up, but I just put a bunch of pictures of myself, my name, and my upload schedule, and yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks pretty on my channel. So now I am gonna do some schoolwork as I said I would. I'm going to start outlining my response paper. I use this really pretty notebook to keep all of my outlines and I have all of these completed pages full of outlines from last semester and this is my second essay of the semester. everyone welcome to wednesday's vlog it's 10 12 right now it's a little later than i wanted it to be when i would like start working it's okay though i'm just gonna get started on my response paper for my tv class because that's basically all i have to do today at 1 30 i'm gonna have lunch and then do my workout with michaela at 2 but until then i'm literally just gonna write this paper the entire morning and then after the workout i'm gonna write it the entire afternoon wish me luck i'm like kind of stressed about it like i have my idea but i'm still kind of confused on how she wants us to write this. I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna get started right now. No more procrastinating. See ya. Quick update because I'm working out with Michaela in one minute and I don't want to keep her waiting. This entire time, I think it's been like four hours that I've been working, I've only gotten my introduction done, which sounds ridiculous, but sometimes introductions are really hard for me. And I spent like an hour writing the first two sentences. Then I spent like three hours writing the rest of the introduction. And right now it's 175 words. Now I'm going to work out with Michaela. I'm actually excited for this workout. I think it's gonna be fun because we're doing Mad Fits Folklore 15 minute dance workout and then Mad Fits Evermore dance workout. So I'm going to throw on a t-shirt, do this workout, and then keep writing my response paper. Also, I was trying this new retinol cream that my mom got me and it like burned my cheeks. And this morning they were like crazy, crazy red. Like they've already gone down, but that was exciting. Gotta go. Okay, so I just finished my workout and it was actually way harder than I expected. Like I thought it was just gonna be like dance moves, but she actually puts like workout moves into the dance. So it was really fun. And since I'm leaving on Friday, tomorrow will be our last workout. But now I have nothing to do other than just keep writing my response paper. So I think my goal before dinner is to do the first body paragraph. Maybe I can do second body tonight and then third and conclusion tomorrow. We'll see. And I'm ordering dinner tonight so I don't have to worry about cooking it. It's 
42 right now i finished dinner at like 7 and then i came back to my room and i wanted to rest my eyes for a bit because i felt so tired and i ended up falling asleep for an hour I, at least i feel rested now but i still definitely want to do my second body paragraph i think i'm gonna shower and then put an overnight face mask to try and like heal this and i'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning This is my outfit. I'm wearing a sweater under my hoodie and then a jacket over the hoodie. I'm wearing thermal leggings under my sweatpants. I'm wearing three pairs of socks and then I'm gonna wear my winter boots. I have my scarf on, my hat, my gloves, and I'm putting on two masks. And that is the fit. Now I'm going to my shoot and I'll see you guys after. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's currently 3.55 in the afternoon and I'm only sitting down to do my work now. I woke up at 8 this morning to do my shoot that was supposed to start between 9 and 9.30 and I was waiting and waiting and like I wasn't doing anything because I was just expecting them to text me and be like, we're ready and then just leave. And then at 10, I got a text saying to come at 10.30 and then I get there at 10.30. It doesn't start till 11. I was done at 1. I got back to my apartment by 1.30. I picked up lunch. I got myself a pita pit with a smoothie because also I was dressed in so many layers but it was indoors it was supposed to be outdoors the shoot so i was sweating it was so uncomfortable so then i picked myself up like a cold pita and a cold smoothie which was so refreshing 9 a.m is a lie but we got it done and then also um we are skipping this workout michaela just finished a test so she's also had like a pretty rough day and i just texted her asking if we could skip the workout because we were just planning on doing yoga today so it's like it's yoga so now let's get the third paragraph and the conclusion done Hello, I'm very excited to announce that I have finished my response paper. Whee! It's 9.32 right now and I finished it a little while ago and then I read it over and it's done. The only thing I have to do is my title, but I usually think of my title like five minutes before submitting and like, I don't know, that's just my routine. I had a little mini breakdown because I am not getting a break next week, even though it's my midterm week. I'm just not getting a break because one of my teachers is releasing instructions for an essay on the Monday of our break. So it's not even like I had the option to do it before break she's only releasing the instructions on monday of break and then the essay is due the very first monday we get back at 10 a.m so there is no choice but to do it during break it makes no sense like they're supposed to give us a mental break from schoolwork that really pissed me off and made me very very stressed and then also i have three other classes who have assignments due tuesday and wednesday when i get back from break like usually my assignments are due friday or sunday so i don't know why as soon as i get back from break i have stuff due Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but that means I have to do four assignments during my break. It's not a break. So I just got very, very stressed and I may have shed a few tears, but it's okay. So right now I'm not gonna get ready for bed or read or anything. I want to like get some more things done so that I can kind of like feel better. So I'm going to do the rough cut of my cleaning video and then I also want to read through the notes that will be due the week I get back from break. I've been back for like two hours but i've just been like relaxing and talking to my family and i was with my dog before but it's almost his dinner time and so he left my room to go stare at my dad and ask for dinner this is what my dog looks like when he is just staring at my dad oh he just sent another one he's just gonna stare at him for literally 30 minutes this is what he does every day but i've read over my paper a million times and i am ready to submit it here we go now you know what time it is so the outline and then one response to a peer's outline are the very last things I have to do and I'm just going to work on them today and tomorrow. I will let you guys know when I finish it and when I post it and when my midterm week is done. <music> the 
the time has come to finish this week and I am so happy. I copy pasted from this Word document and now I'm gonna post. I am so happy. This vlog has been an adventure. So if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you. Comment down below if you're watching at this point because I would love to thank you. And if you enjoyed living my midterm week with me, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, definitely subscribe down below. It feels so weird to be ending this video because I've been vlogging for seven days. But thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!